Hey, good morning, friends. Before I head out to work, I'm going to do this quick project that I saw on TikTok. I thought it was adorable. I wanted to do it for myself, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So I am going to be making a photo box to take pictures of the projects that you make. So what I am using, I have these three pieces of foam board. I got them from the Dollar Tree for a dollar each. I have my clear tape and I have contact paper. I got these from Walmart. They were $5.97 a piece. You can get them on Amazon. And of course, Dollar Tree does also have contact paper. These right here are humongous rolls that I only need a little bit of for this. However, Dollar Tree does also have contact paper and it's only a dollar. They just didn't really have anything that I wanted. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm going to take these and I am going to tape them together. So I'm first gonna tape it together here. course you you want to make sure that it's even so now you see it just folds over like this so now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to take it make sure you tape your tape back over because it's awful to try and peel it up when you have it and this one when it tapes there's like a little step down there. So now what you have is this. All right. So now we're going to open it up and we're going to start with our contact paper and we are going to, my contact paper is actually the perfect size for these. So we're going to put a piece of contact paper down each side. All right, so what have we learned from this is that nobody will ever pay me to put wallpaper on their house. However, this is super cute. So this is my first side. Now, obviously I'm not great at putting wallpaper down. I did realize though that working with the whole roll was very, very hard. So when I do my next side, I'm gonna cut my roll and also this little tool that I got from Dollar Tree that I use for everything, it, where I had bubbles, I poked a hole in it and rubbed them out because that's what I do with my vinyl. All right, so now we're gonna flip this and we're going to do the other side. All right, so this is my finished project. And this is awesome. So look how perfect this is. So you just set this up. You have a background. You have that background you could do pictures. And then that background. Now, honestly, you could like, and I'm gonna save these for if I find like something that I just really have to have. 
you could do this side and this side. Now you wouldn't have one for the bottom, but you could put like a fuzzy rug down there, you know? Um, or any other kind of like tapestry or whatever you want and then do the background. So this is really cute. Okay, so this is what I was thinking when I was doing it. Well, first of all, cutting it off to the right size and then just putting it down in one piece, definitely better. I'm still not gonna be asked to put wallpaper up for anybody, but it was definitely a better job doing that and it was pretty quick. Now, what I'm thinking with this, and let me know if you guys would like to see it when I do it, but not only for the projects that you make, I was thinking what a cute photo background this would be for like a baby, right? Like if you were taking pictures of your baby, you could put whatever you want down there. You could put a nice little blanket or whatever here. And how cute would that be? So like I'm thinking, because you know my daughter's pregnant, we're gonna have another grandbaby, I'm so excited. But I was thinking, it could be like, you know, the background, and I could Cricket, the baby's name, whatever that's gonna be, and you can put things up there for like your one month, two month, whatever that you wanted to do, how cute would that be? And then you could do like your one, your months all along and then you could have something special for like their 12 month old. I think it's a super cute idea. So anyways, I love this. I hope you do too. And let me know if you find it helpful. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for stopping in friends. See you later. I am heading off to work. Bye.